hello everyone welcome back again to my channel if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and share my video in today's video i'm going to show you how to make this gown you'll see on my picture so please uh, please keep on watching um on this book this is the measurement i'm going to be using for that style you saw on my phone so if you are new to my channel please keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe and share my video so on my bed sorry guys i don't have a big uh, table i have a small bed as you guys know so on my bed I'm, I'm going to be making my cutting you see that fabric on the my, on my bed i just bought that fabric right now and i'm going to show you how to cut out the length that you want for that tie so what i have here is i think it's a dry fabric i don't know i just saw it in the shop and i liked it so the yard that is here is by 45 by length 45 yeah so if you want to sew that tie you saw on my phone right let's see go to the market right and you are a bit confused on how to cut out the length so i'm going to show you this trick on how to cut out the length right so you know my video is all about beginner sewing so to make it easy for, for beginners to learn how to sew the, the the dress so i'm going to show you how to fold it so this is my fabric you hold it like this this is the wrong side of the fabric and this is the right side of the fabric so you just fold it like this you see the way i fold it my friends So let me arrange it and I'll come back and show you the next step, right? So my friends, as you can see, I fold it. Make sure you are folding it. Make sure it's all equal. The edge is there. Very, very important. And you can see my tape measure as well. So to get the length, the length of my blouse from my shoulder to my to my ankle, what I'm, I'll be using is um, 59.5 here, yeah? So because I want, uh, I'm going to use... Um, I want extra length, like two inches to it, to help me to tidy up my my bottom of the gun and also the shoulder stops. I, I need allowances for all, for all that as well. So what I'm going to be doing here is, to be on a more safer side, I'm going to cut out, the length I'm going to cut out here is going to be 62 inches, right? So I'm going to have 60, uh, 2 inches to my uh, 59.5 inches you see here. So I'm going to cut out 62 inches. So what I have here, from here, from the top here, to there is 62 inches. So I'm going to cut it out for the front uh, panel. And also, as you can see, my highest body measurement is my, my highest body measurement is my hip. You see my hip here is uh, 11.6, you see that? so that was that would be my highest body measurement for my round body measurement yeah so if you can look at this fabric here like this right from here from this place to there is 11 inches you see that and if you count from here to there is 20 inches so i have an extra fabric to add for my sewing so what i'm going to do now i'm going to cut out the long length so from here sorry mm -hmm. so from here from this place down to this place is the two inches so i'm going to cut that is two inches from there so from here i'm cutting that the two inches so here i'm going to cut that is two in this place so when i finish cutting cutting i'll come back and show you the next step i'll show you come back and show you the next step from there Friends, you can see I've cut out the front panel. So now I'm going to cut out the second, uh, the back panel. So I'm going to place my my front panel right. I'm going to arrange this one again and place this on top to cut it out. I arrange the front panel and the back panel together. I'm going to cut it out to have the same shape. Friends, I finished cutting out my fabric. Now the next step I'm going to do is to start drafting on my fabric. So my friends, as you can see, this is the 
front panel i will start working on my on my front panel and i've kept my back panel aside so first of all i want to start working on my front panel so this is my front panel at the top here i'll start my drafting but i'm going to take out one inch from top here i'm going to measure one inch from here this way then i'll rule it out So as you can see, this my fabric is on fold, yeah. So what I'm going to do here, this is one inch here, like so. I'll place it here. I'll just mark out one inch from the top here. Do the same thing on this side as well, one inch. So as you can see friends, you can look closely, you can see the blue line which I draw straight down from the top. From here, I draw a blue line straight down to this place. So after that, I start my drafting. So before I start, this it is mentioned I'm going to be using to draft at this pattern. This is the front panel which I'm starting to draft on. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring out my neckline my neck width I'm using here is three inches so here from here is three inches I'll use my shop to mark it out then the neck depth for my front panel is three inches as well so I'll go there like this three inches then after doing that I'll take my curve ruler like this then I'll use it to connect the three inches at my weight and two inch at my dark here, like so. You see the way I did it to create a beautiful curve. So I place my curve ruler like this to connect this dot to that dot. After doing that, the next step is it should not take to took my shoulder to shoulder. My shoulder to shoulder is 16 uh, inches, so I'm going to add half inches to it for to tidy it up. So what I have is 16 and a half. Divide that 16 and a half by 2. What I have is 8.3. So I take my tape measure like this. I place it here like so. I bring out 8.3 from there. So here is 8.3. So at this spot here, I'll come down by 1 inch. Here like so. Here is 1 inch. So after doing that, I'll take my ruler this way to connect the dot from this place to this place, like so. So after connecting my shoulder slope, the next step is to put in my ham hole. My ham hole is 19 inches. If you divide it by 2, what I have is 9.5. So I'll go down like this. From this spot here, I'll measure at 9.5, like so. That's 9.5. Then I'll mark it out from this spot here to that spot. After I mark it out, at, I'll now take from the end spot of my ham hole here, I'll now break it down this way, like so. Draw the line from this spot to this spot. That will now be my chest line. So now that I've drawn at my chest line, this one the next step is to now to put in my straight body measurement which is also called the vertical body measurement so the first measurement i'm going to do here is this so i'm going to place my tape measure on my shoulder from this spot here so from my shoulder to my boss point is 12.5 inches so here I have 12.5 inches. From my shoulder to my waist is 23 inches. Here I have 23 inches here, like so. From my shoulder to my hip is 31 inches. So here I have 31 inches here. Then from my shoulder to the length of my dress is 58 point 
half inches that is 58.5 so I'll place it here like this so I'll go down here is 58.5 inches then remember I'm going to have my sewing allowance to my bottom as well so my sewing allowance at my bottom is one and a half inches so yeah have one and a half inches for my sewing allowance so after marking out my straight body measurement the next thing I'm going to do is to now roll it out from this spot to the end there this way to that way and this way to this way and the bottom and the my sewing allowance at the bottom to this way when I finish doing that, I'll come back and show you the next step. So, I've ruled out my vertical or your straight body measurement. You can see the blue lines here to the bottom. So, the next step is for me to now <coughs> put in my horizontal or your round body measurement. So, for my round body measurement, the first thing I'm going to do here is this. I'll, my my bust point measurement is 42.5 inches. So you're going to divide that by 4. What I have is 10.6. So my bust point measurement, I will put in 10.6 on this line. That is my bust point measurement. So before I put in my bust point measurement, I forgot to tell you guys that um, on my chest line, I send my chest line measurement that that way. So on my bust point measurement, my bust point measurement is uh, ten point six. So I'll take my tape measure like this. Take like this. I place it here. From here. So I'm looking for 10.6. So here is my 10.6 here. This 10.6. So my boss point because my boss my boobs is big. So my boss point measurement I'm going to put it on my chest line. So I place it here like this. I put my boss point measurement on my chest line. Like so. So on my ham hole here is 9.5. If you divide by 2, what I have here is 4.7. Or you can, if you don't want to use the calculator, you can just look for 9.5 here on your tape measure. You see that is 9.5 here. So you take the end of your tape measure like this and place it on the 9.5. So that's your half of your 9.5. So you place it here on your ham hole, you get the half of your ham hole uh, measurement here. You see that I place it or you place it like this so you can see it properly. You see, so that's half. So you bring it here, that's half as well. So at this spot, the midpoint of my ham hole here, I'll come in by half an inch and I'll also come in by. Uh, quarter of the half of an inch I'll come in by half an inch this way for my front hand hole so here is my half an inch so the next step after doing this I'll take my tape measure this one I'll connect it from my boss permission from this place here connect it to that point here to this point so what you simply do that's why it's very important to have your curve ruler, right? It's extremely important. So now I've connected it. You can see I connected already. So I just mark it out like this. So that is my ham hole for my front panel. So for the back as well, I come in like this. I also mark it out same spot mark it out as well so 
So, having done that, I'll show you the next step. The next step is at my bust point here, I will connect the ten point six on my chest line to the to the ten point six on my bust point. So I'm just going to draw it down like so. So after doing that, I will now go to my waist line. My waist is for the three inches. Divide by four, what you have is ten point eight. So I'll take my tape measure like this. I place it here like so. I'll bring out ten point eight here. This is ten point eight. Then the next step is I'll go to my hip line. This is my hip line. My hip is for six inches, for six point five inches. Divide by four, what you have is eleven point six. So I place my tape measure eleven point six here like so. Eleven point six. That's level point six there. So after doing that, at the length of my gun, that's the end of my gun, I'll go there as well, put in level point six as well. So I'll I'll connect it to my sewing allowance at my bottom as well. So yeah, at the bottom of my gun, that's the end of my gun, I put in level point six here as well. So after doing that, I will connect the line from this place straight down to that place with my long ruler. I will connect the dot from here like so, from my boss point line to my waistline, connect it. Then I also connect it to my hip line as well. You can see the shape is changing. Then I'll go to my bottom of my gown. I'll connect it from my hip line to my end of my gown, like so. So friends, that's why it's very important for you to have your, your rulers. I'll connect it from here down this way. And to the, I'll connect it straight down to the my sewing allowance as well. So, after doing that, the next step is to now add my allowances to my to my to my hip line, my hip line to my waistline, from my waistline to my bottom of my gown line. So. On my hip line, sorry, on my waistline, I'll have two inches to it. Two inches to it. Remember, it's a free gown. That's on my waistline. Then, on my hip line, I'll have three inches to it. Then I'll go to the bottom of my blouse. Sorry, of my gun, I will add five inches to it. Five inches to it. 